In this video, we're going to cover some best practices for capturing high quality 3D point clouds using the XM Pack, including the backpack and arm mounted configurations. Before starting your scan, it's important to plan your path to ensure you can move smoothly through the space. Open the doors ahead of time and turn on lights if you plan on using the colorization feature. Exxon's mobile SLAM algorithm uses features or objects in its environment for state estimation or to understand where it's moving. When choosing a starting location, pick an area with lots of features that you can easily return to for loop closure. This will correct for any drift that occurs throughout the scan. To start your scan, place the Exxon Pack on a flat surface to power on. Ensure there's enough clearance for the gimbaled LiDAR to spin freely. Once booted up, press the start button to initialize the robot for mapping. System initialization takes around 10 to 15 seconds. If the system is moved or subject to vibration, initialization will fail and you will have to attempt the scan again. Make sure to stand behind the sensor when starting the scan. It will mitigate inadvertent LiDAR returns and color draping. The speed in which you move through the environment can affect the density of the point cloud you're trying to collect. The slower you move, the more points will be collected in that area, resulting in a denser, more detailed point cloud. Example, solid looking walls, readable signs, distinguished features. One of the trickiest areas for a SLAM platform is transitioning to new spaces, primarily doorways, stairwells, and room transitions. If you are transitioning into a new space via hallway or doorway, Pause in the doorway and give the sensor a view of the old and new area for a few seconds before continuing with your scan. While using the backpack, monitor the coverage of the real-time map to ensure that your goals are being met. Once you have collected all necessary data, you can return to the start of your scan. Come to rest as close to the starting position with the sensor pointed at the same field of view. Data captured can be post-processed, geo-referenced, subsampled, and colorized through the XMView tablet while on site. 